I have been out of the studio for the last week or so. I went down to Victoria to see my mom for her 101st birthday. At this point, I'd like to say I had a great trip down. However, it took 13 hours of travel time on an airplane, well, actually sitting in an airport, uh, to get from here to Victoria. I could have driven it in 13 hours. And by the time I got to Victoria, I felt like I could have walked. But anyway, I should say it was a great trip down, but that would not be true. I got down there, it was good to see Mum. She is 101, and she acts like 101 for the most part. However, I hope when I get to be 101, I'm acting like 101. It's good to see family. My sisters are there. It's always nice to connect with family and friends. On the way down, about two days before we left, we got in a new iPad mini or iPod, don't know how to run it thing. And I thought I'd take it, well, I did take it down with me and I was going to record the entire thing and bring it back and have Jim put together this lovely video of our trip down the family, the trees and the ocean and all this wonderful stuff. However, I am technologically challenged and I brought him back a little snippet of this and this was recorded on, on time-lapse photography and this wasn't a video, it was only a picture. He in post is magic. <laughs> yes, you are, dear. He in post is magic. He'll put together what little bits of information I have and he'll make me look marvelous. The best thing on film that turned out was a conversation I had with a seagull. Watch for it. Hello, bird. Well, you're not very shy at all, are you? That's cool. There you go. Not very far. Anyway, <laughs> we are home now and the trip is behind and it's time to get back to work. What we're going to do today is finish all the things that I was supposed to do before I left. Now I work for a horrible woman and she said you have to have those pots ready for the kiln, the kiln has to be loaded and you have to have your throwing done and the trimmings and, 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 and. However, she is a horrible woman to work for and rather demanding. I didn't get the pots thrown. I obviously didn't get them trimmed and the kiln wasn't loaded and not everything is ready to be fired. Today, I'm going to do what I was told and get that done. I won't get the throwing done because I was messing with other stuff, ran out of clay, and which leads to tomorrow is our clay run. We're gonna to go to Medicine Hat and pick up our clay. Jim will bring the camera, not the little, I don't know how to run that thing and he will record it and we'll have a nice documentation of that trip. But today I'm gonna to finish off what I didn't do and we're going to put some lids on the casserole. This casserole should be fairly famous by now. We have started it off with uh, wedging the clay, throwing the clay, throwing it and all the way through the process. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make the lid fit, but that's not today's blog, it's today's other video. And we're gonna get the kiln loaded Tuesday night is usually clay class with the ladies. We are not gonna have our clay class tonight. Tonight, the National Film Board is in town and they're having a public meeting. We want to go see what it's all about. They're, put, they're setting up a project on filming the grasslands of Southern Alberta. We just want to see what it's about, so we're gonna go see what it's about. Anyway, by the time I get this stuff done and the video with that done and the kiln loaded and all those other things done, it will be a day. <laughs> 